Hey guys, um, today I'll be showing you guys how to solve a Zembo problem uh, using more circles to determine the principal stresses as well as the maximum shears and uh, determine the factor of safety using three different formulations Traska, Rankai, and Von Meizek's. So, uh, Zoom, you are given this uh, stress tensor uh, definition having the following stress and shears given in this 3x3 three three matrix. And so the first thing you have to do is to determine the principal stress. How are you going to do that? Well, uh, as you might already know, the principal stress of the uh, uh, this stress tensor is just going to be the uh, eigenvalues of this matrix. And so, if you solve for the eigenvalues of the matrix, it's going to turn out to be the principal stress, uh, sigma 1, 1 is going to be 128.9 megapascal, assuming they have the unit of megapascal. And second one, just going to be 83.04 megapascal. And the third one, just going to be negative 101.93 megapascal. And remember, you're going to show it using the eigenvalues. Right. And so, uh, where does the max shear occur at? You saw for the maximum strat, now you want to determine the maximum shear. And according to our formula, the maximum shear occurred at the average of the maximum and the minimum principal stress. It's going to turn out to be maximum subtract the minimum divided by 2 will turn out to be 115.42 megapascal. So you want to draw the more circle for this? Well it is relatively simple. So this is going to be the uh, stress. Vertical is it's going to be the shear and the first of all, you're going to have the uh, max stress, first principal stress as sigma 1 1, second principal stress as sigma 2 2, and the minimum, the last one, princi the last principal stress is going to be sigma 3 3. All you have to do is just draw a circle, join in between the first one, second one, and then the second one and third one should be joining it together and so the maximum shear is just going to be the circle that joining the first one and the third one so this will be your maximum shear happen right there okay and um, in the second part of this problem you are asked to determine the factor of safety for three different formulation assuming that you got the maximum allowable stress of 200 megapascal and maximum allowable shear stress is going to be 100 megapascal. So for the second problem, you got max allowable stress is going to be 200 megapascal and the max allowable shear is going to be 100 megapascal. So, for the very first one, uh, the Tresca formulation. Uh, so the Tresca is going to take the U, so uh, you're going to take, for Tresca formulation, you're going to use the shear stress as a, uh, to determine the factor of safety. So, the yielding occurs at 100 megapascal that is the for the shear and so you got the maximum stress maximum shear stress was determined earlier at 115.42 megapascals and you got a factor of safety of 100 the yielding divided the maximum which is the 115.42 sorry this will 0.92 42, 42, my bad, yeah. Turn out to be 
eight seven. And this means you got a failed scenario in this case because it is less than one. For the Rankai's formulation, you're gonna using the maximum principal stress. And so you got the max stress turn out to be right there, our maximum principal stress is 128.9 megapascal. Hence, and you also have the maximum allowable stress at 200. And from that, you can determine the factor of safety, just the maximum allowable determined by the maximum shear, which is 128.9, and this turned out to be 1.55. And this worked, it doesn't fail, which is good. You got factor of safety greater than 1, and at least it's greater than 1.5, which is what we should expect when designing an error structure. The, the last one is going to be the Von Meizig uh, formula. And Von Meizig maximum stress is just going to be given by this formulation. You guys should all be familiar with that. Uh, especially in the last uh, error structure exam. There's a question on this one and few of you not many of you got this right so be careful with the calculation and the formula and you plus in the uh, principal stress it's going to turn out to be 211.66 megapascal and so the factor of safety in this case is going to be 200 divided by 211.66 turn out to be 94 which is less than 1 so this is a fail scenario uh, and uh, as you can see among these on three failure criteria only the von Meizig takes into account both stress and shear uh, which is a combined loading so in that case um, when you're designing a structure and so when you have a strike tensor given by this matrix uh, even though the Rankai say it is a good case to design always use the von Meizig because the von Meizig is the combined loading of both stress and shear remember is a combined loading of both stress and shear and so you always want to look at the von Meizig's uh, failure criteria and in this case it is less than one it means to see A, uh, combined loading does not, um, the, this combined loading exceeds the material capabilities of uh, stress and shear. Alright, thank you for watching guys.